Welcome back. Okay, uh, we're going to look at the display card total function. Now, um, it's going to, what this does, it's going to fetch uh, element from the API. Do you remember our API view? Uh, let's look at it. This is it, so it's fetching API from the host endpoints using the JavaScript fetch command. You can look this up. I'm not going to do much of explaining here. Uh, and call the display card total, which is uh, the subject of today's class. So let's look at it. Now, first, it takes in the results of that uh, fetch command. Uh, it destructures it into data. I hope I can get that URL for you to see. Uh, it destructures it into results. Uh, one minute, we can we can do that. So uh, this API. All right, now this is the JSON file, so it takes uh, pretty format, uh, where are you? Okay, now you, you have results, you have items in cart, you have uh, buyer country, items in cart, buyer country. Uh, I guess that's what we are interested in. So now from, from this element, look at it carefully. The response, response.json, uh, it takes in this data and feeds it into the display card total, which we are currently looking at. Uh, now, it's been destructured in, uh, the result is being destructured into this array of data. So now we, we now have uh, uh, this result, which starts from here and ends here, not the info. We are not looking at this. So inside there, inside results array, you see, it starts from here and ends from here. Inside the results array, you have item in cart and two objects. Items in cart, you have one, two item in cart, and the other one is a buyer country. So we further destructured both into items in cart and buyer country. That means they, they, they are now saved separately. So we call these uh, state appstates.items and save this into it. And the buyer country, we save this into it. So the bill, we, we, we now use a reduce function, the total, the price, the quantity. Uh, so let's look at it again. We have the price, the quantity. So the quantity is three, each of the price is three. So we should have three times 36 plus one times 45 which which should give us the total at this particular point in time. So in that case, uh, we use the reduce function called the total, then the price. If you don't really understand the reduce function, you could type uh, reduce array reduce dot MDN or something. You would have uh, a whole lot of resources on the internet to go through. Uh, so now, the next thing is uh, we take in this quanti uh, pride things and uh, we now look at the total 
plus price times quantity. That means for each element. So what it would do is uh, it will total price times quantity. Uh, now the total will now become this times this. So initial initial price is like uh, initial total is like zero. So you will now have the first one to be three times thirty six, which is like uh, eight one oh eight. So the the same will repeat for the second object here, which is forty five. So you will now have forty five times. It takes in that one oh eight now the new total plus this. I hope you understand how the whole thing works. Then you remember, if you haven't listened to the format as money function, you go look at it. So it takes that bill, which is this, and format it as money format, and save it. So you now have the total here with the KSH 206.00. Format. So uh, now the next thing, having saving this, you now use a document uh, manipulator select query selector, the data bill, and save this content into it, its value into it. Uh, on one of our, we were asked to declare app state when we're talking about the smart, imp sta uh, smart input, you will see uh, the reason why we declared here the literal. So because we're asked to save uh, the card details as an array of an array, each field, each field, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. We declare this there. We could have done that automatically using field index, but mm, safer. You can implement it far better than this anyway, but this is how I implement it because it gave me less stress. Trust me. Uh, UI interact can interact. You call this, it's a... Uh, it's more of, uh, I don't want this video to be longer than what it is already. So thank you for watching and do tune back.